Hi guys, Virginia here and I'm back with another 12x12 12 12 process video for you today. I was just showing you the cut file. It's a rather uh, large one. Uh, very pretty though. It's called Rose Overlay and I just got it from the Silhouette uh, Design Store. And what I'm using today is the Maggie Holmes Flourish Collection and I'm just showing you what I did. Basically I cut the entire thing out on a piece of white cardstock. I then separated out the flowers and the leaves and the branches and what I did was just uh, cut the flowers on either a pink or a yellow or a peachy pink colored pattern paper um, and then I did another cut with the leaves and the branches on greens and brown pattern papers um, I wasn't fussy about which went on which pattern um, I just kind of wanted to get a, a, a good array of color now I kind of came up with this idea it's in my mind it's kind of good to have a bit of knowledge of other paper crafting techniques and I'm not I don't just scrapbook I make cards and do other things like mixed media and painting and stuff as well so I find it handy to kind of think about other techniques that are used in other paper crafting uh, areas and kind of bringing them into my scrapbooking. Now this I ha this technique I've seen a, a lot, and I've done it a lot in making cards, and it's called a die cut inlay technique. And what it is, is basically what you would do is run a die through your um, hand cutting machine, like your Big Shot or whatever, and then you would cut it again from a colored cardstock or whatever, and set that colored cardstock in the space of the die cut um, on your pattern paper. I'm transposing that I guess into my cut file so it's not technically a um, die cut inlay it's probably more a cut file inlay so that's what I'm going to call it. Um, so that's pretty much what I've done. I've cut it out of white cardstock and then I've gone and cut that same pattern again from coloured cardstock and I'm inlaying it into the gap. So to get a nice um, smooth background I have adhered that entire cut file to another white piece of cardstock and used a ton of ATG and now I'm basically putting together the puzzle, just putting those bits into place and it's super easy I prefer this <laughs> uh, much more than uh, back in a cut file and it also gives you a nice flat background if you're not one to want to have a lot of dimension and stuff on your background this is a great technique to do so there we go I showed you it's all done it looks pretty I'm really happy with the result it turned out beautiful and um, I'm using some of those off cuts from the uh, die cut and not die cut, <laughs> cut file flowers, and I'm going to use them to back my photos, I'm not going to waste them, um, so I'm just using them, and I didn't, mean, didn't even mention the photos, it's of one of my doves, and she had um, hatched a little baby out of one of her eggs, so yeah, it's one's kind of a real close-up shot, and the other one's a little bit further back, but she was kind enough to let me have a look at the little baby, make sure it was all right, and um, yeah she was quite proud of herself, uh, quite happy with her little baby and I was quite stoked that um, she'd had a baby <laughs> so I'm documenting that. Um, now white, white dove uh, babies are definitely not the prettiest looking things, they are actually pretty ugly <laughs> um, but gosh what they turn into is just amazing so um, yeah I could put up with the ugly little things a while because I knew that it would turn into one of those beautiful white doves so right I've backed that photo all those photos I did trim them down and um, I'm just gonna kind of situate the photo where I want to put it where it's not going to I guess take away from too much of that work that I've done on the background now I did have the bright idea too I wanted a nice uh, frame around it in gold stitching but had neglected to remember the fact that I'd put ATG tape all over the background and it just was not happening my sewing machine was not impressed about uh, trying to go through all of that adhesive and it gummed up my needle so I've ended up with a right mess on the um, top right hand side of that uh, layout but um, never mind um, I tried to correct it by making it look even uh, purposefully messy, <laughs> but 
but of course because of all of the ATG tape in between those layers of paper <laughs> it just just got worse and worse so I gave up I left it and I do kind of salvage it a little bit um, with a cluster of embellishments up there but uh, there we go lesson learnt remember what you have uh, used for adhesive because um, double sided tape and stuff is not good for your sewing machine so I'm going to go through the ephemera packs I've been through the flower one there's a pack with flowers and leaves and then there's another um, ephemera pack as well so I'm just flicking through that now I think this is the scrapbook exclusive one um, from this collection I'm just pulling out some bits that I like the look of I'm not having to I don't need to put a lot on the page because that background is kind of enough but I want something to uh, tuck behind the photos to make the photo feel um, inclusive with that background um, if that makes sense so I tried the deer um, it didn't need to be on there the deer doesn't really have anything to do with birds <laughs> um, a little frame that doesn't have anything to do with birds either but I like the shape of it and it adds a little bit of detail uh, to the top of that photo now I wanted my title to be something like hello little one or welcome little one and I saw this but it's just too big I, and here's me contemplating do I fussy cut it no I don't want to <laughs> so I that just got put to the side it's uh, one of my big bears with um, ephemera packs and die cut packs is there's just too many large pieces at the moment not enough small pieces um, I think they need to go back to adding some more smaller pieces into the packs so just making around with some flowers just tucking them in layering them over top of those background photos and there's my yellow one with one of those gold leaves up there and that's going to be kind of my solution for that mess that's up in that corner <laughs> just cover it up <laughs> um, I thought about the butterfly but I didn't like the look of it on this page and now I'm going to have a look through the stickers sticker packs so I've got two six, six by twelve sticker packs for these one is um, for this collection and the other one is for the collection but it is a scrapbook.com exclusive um, one so I pulled off a frame I thought about putting it behind the rose at the top right hand corner but um, I do take it off later on down the track um, this sticker book that I'm working from now is the Maggie Holmes it's one of the American Crafts designer sticker books and um, I'm flicking back to the back page where they've got all the bloom stickers and um, the bloom collection goes perfectly with this collection so I'm happy to be able to use up some of that stuff on here so I've pulled out a, a rose one but the sticker paper is that really uh, kind of thin flimsy stuff and I didn't like it it was um, the thinness of it was driving me a bit nutty so what I did was stuck it on a bit of white cardstock and just fussy cut out the shape of it and that feels a bit better it's got a bit more weight and I can layer it and move it where I want to until I'm happy with it where it is okay so going through the 12 by 12 chipboard there's this lovely little sentiment that says together so I'm just popping that down there I thought that was sweet uh, that bit of ephemera comes off I don't want that there anymore here comes the frame gets taken off I didn't like that up there um, so I'm going to put that back on the sticker sheet and I do end up pulling off the little green uh, leafy front thing from the inside of that and tucking it in down there okay I'm carrying out my stickers another one from the 6x12 one of the 6x12 sticker sheets it's like a little I don't know, decorative element a little peachy pink I thought that would be nice in the center of the photo to add a bit of color down there and, um, and this is where I start to work on my title so I found a smaller hello um, off one of those sticker sheets so I put that down there and then these stickers are called crush I believe and it's just a nice scripty gold uh, lettering so I'm gonna spell little out of this I was going to do one as well um, my e little one but I only have one e left so <laughs> um, that didn't work but that's okay so I'll spell out little and and then I'm going to use the little 
tiny gold um, alphas from this collection as well and just spell out the word one and then that'll finish off my title there you go, quite liking how that's looking and I think I'm going to start gluing everything down yep so I'm just going to put a bit of glue behind pieces and then just kind of start um, putting them down so nothing moves and of course I don't make you watch me glue everything down I did put a bit of adhesive foam behind those um, photos as well I don't know whether I mentioned that okay just about done just trimming off the excess of those that flower and that uh, top right cluster and if I really want to bring this in I think I'm going to use it on every single layer with this collection because it's just so pretty um, that little decorative gold leaf trim so I've just cut a little snippet off and I want to bring some gold to that left hand side of the photo because there's a lot of gold elsewhere but nothing there and there's a bit of an empty empty space there in between the photo and that, that circular frame element so to kind of fill it in I'm tucking it in there and I quite like that so I'm just going to put a bit of glue behind that and glue it down um, some last little bits and pieces some little word stickers from the collection again um, One says grow love and this one is off one of the 6x12 sticker sheets. I'm just going to bring a sentiment up there to kind of repeat those um, shapes and words. Um, and this one says happy little moments. Um, so I'm just going to put a bit of glue behind it. Um, and I came across this little bird. I didn't even notice it. I don't know how I didn't notice it. Um, but I was look I was eyeing up the bunny that was on that sticker sheet. <laughs> but then I saw this and I thought no this is much better facing the right direction and so yeah I stuck it to the um, bottom right of the photo and it looks like the bird's kind of peeking in and having a little look at the baby um, another little word sentiment this one says plant kindness grow love and a couple of little puffy stickers from these are from bloom um, one says delighted the other one says hello and now I'm back to the American Crafts designer sticker book and I'm just pulling off a few little gold hearts putting them around the place and I flicked over a couple of pages and saw one of these birds so why not put that on the page now again it's that flimsy sticker paper so I do stick it onto some white cardstock and fussy cut it out just to give it some weight and um, allow it to feel like it fits better on the page there we go it's cut out and I'm gluing that down And I'm just going to move that heart. It does get moved again <laughs> shortly because um, I have a bit of a, a splatter accident with my um, Heidi Swap Colour Shine, which I'm just doing now, just flicking that around the page. There's a big blob just above that bird's head, and I touch it with a bit of tissue paper and it smudges a bit. So uh, I move that gold heart over to there. I did do a date stamp. Um, in that little green tab that I've kind of pushed in to the right hand side of the photo as well um, and then after that that's pretty much it for my layout so I hope you enjoyed the process I hope it's inspired you to have a go at a kind of a new newish technique someone's probably done it before but I haven't seen it um, but yeah um, something fun to do so yeah um, I'll see you guys next time bye mm -hmm.